Brady's finally back and so are the presidential debates. Let's hash out week five and let's talk strategy for week six. I'm Rachel Besser and this is Fantasy My Way. Tom Brady had a very hot debut on Sunday versus the Cleveland Browns. He racked up 406 yards and three touchdowns and really all we can say is welcome back Tommy, we missed you. We also had another presidential debate on Sunday and it overlapped with the Packers game. So you better believe it was difficult for me to flip through the channels going back and forth and not miss any of the action. But my Packers came out with a win. <laughs> An update on my team this week. Hey, best are you ready to go one and four this week? Loser gets the most embarrassing picture posted on social media. Let's go. Posting to my personal social media, that was the last straw. I've been super hopeful the past few weeks, but now I'm just angry. I'm just angry. My luck's been terrible. Whether or not my personal team scores where I want it to be, I'm still hopeful. I'm going to take it this week. So let's meet my R29 opponent, Emily Harris. Get to know your R29 Fantasy League owners. Emily Harris is one of R29 sales directors. Her team, Tossum Balls Harris, is currently two and three and is looking for a win versus good, better, Besser in week six. Besser, you're going down this week. Tossum Balls Harris is gonna dominate your team. The loser has to go to the subway station and do their best performance. It's obviously going to be you, because my team's gonna win. Emily. I don't know if you're gonna pull it off this week, but all the best to you and yours. Guess what time it is. Take a big, fat, juicy guess. It's time for my hot and fiery tips of the week. Pittsburgh wide receiver Sammy Coates is somebody to start. This week he hauled in 139 yards and two touchdowns on 11 targets. I'm putting him as a start option because his performance is picking up and he is just 26 yards away from being the best receiver on the Steelers. Titans QB Marcus Mariota finally snapped out of his funk. With three touchdowns, he might just be back in action. Start him. It's worth seeing if he will keep his momentum against the Browns defense. Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott doesn't stop impressing me. He had two scores against a Bengals defense that had not allowed a rushing touchdown all season. He keeps getting better every game and Dallas's offensive line is starting to dominate again. Even though he's up against NFL's top ranked run defense in Green Bay, my personal favorite team, he's showing good faith, stardom. First person to sit is Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Marcus Wheaton. He caught two out of three targets for 19 yards on Sunday and this sit is simple. Sammy Coates is pretty much taking your job, buddy. Arizona wide receiver Michael Floyd has given us a compilation of bad games. And honestly, with quarterback Carson Palmer out, they keep getting worse. He failed to catch any of his targets this week. Sit him. Dolphins wide receiver Jarvis Landry put up five fantasy points this week, which isn't going to work for anybody. That being said, he's going up against a weak Steelers secondary next week and as a whole, though, I'd say there are other wide receivers who are smarter to pick up and to start than Landry. First person to pick up is Patriots wide receiver Chris Hogan. A simple choice for a solid pickup this week, mostly because of the instant chemistry between Hogan and Brady. With chemistry like that, Hogan will continue to be a deep threat to defenses, making him definitely worth a pickup. This week, you gotta pick up 49ers wide receiver Jeremy Curley. San Francisco struggled to get their offense going, but Curley has been steady and seems to have shaken off his ankle injury. Curley will be your consistent wide receiver on an otherwise inconsistent offense. And lastly, you gotta pick up Cleveland Browns wide receiver Andrew Hawkins. Word is that Terrell Pryor may be seeing more snaps at the QB position. If so, Hawkins should be ready and rearing to go. He's hot off of a good game, and even if he doesn't fully deliver, you still might get an amazing touchdown dance, and that makes the game that much more exciting. Those were my hot tips for week six. If you have any questions going into week seven, leave a comment in the section below. I'm here to help you. Let's get it. Your team's gonna do better than mine because my tips are just so hot. See you next time.